All right, right away we see the fake sad trying to be cute face. A lot of you have been asking for this. Let's check it out. The extent of her fragility. I don't know what the impact on your physical and mental health of all the pressure that you clearly feel under. Um... Right away she looks delighted to get the attention of being a victim. I would say... Look, any woman when they're, especially when they're pregnant, you're really vulnerable and so that was made really challenging and then when you have a newborn, I mean, you know. You, mm -hmm. It's but, a long time ago, but I remember. Yeah. She doesn't look that upset to me at all. She looked off to think of something and then just like as a woman with a newborn, doesn't really answer the question at all. You know, as, and especially as a woman, it's really, it's a lot. So you add what this on top of just trying to be a new mom or trying to be a newlywed. It's, um, yeah, well, I guess, and also thank you for asking because not many people have asked if I'm okay, but it's, uh, oh my gosh, that's so pathetic. And that's also like a buzz phrase, isn't it? Like nobody's asked if I'm okay. And you know what? I noticed a pattern just now. We notice when she's doing or talking about her charity work, it's just buzzword, 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 and there's no specifics. It's the same thing here. When she's asked about why she's a victim, it's a bit of buzzwords, like as a woman, I don't know what that has to do with the media scrutiny, but with no specifics. And that was so arrogant the way she said it. Oh, thank you, because nobody asks if I'm okay. And for what I understand, this is also the trip when she was doing her photo shoot talking about how people in uh, Rwanda didn't have enough water to drink so you know hopefully we can all focus on if Megan's okay it's a very real thing to be going through behind the scenes and the answer is <sighs> would it be fair to say not really okay since really been a struggle you know, I'll just say, I didn't like the way she said that. Like, do you notice there seems to be like a delight in her saying it? Like, yeah, I'm not okay. And it's weird. You do see this. I think I've mentioned before, I saw like this political debate and then there was a woman from like MTV News who had no idea what she was talking about. And they get this like high and mighty thing with these buzzwords. Like, no one cares if I'm okay. It's like this, it's a way to get power, social power and attention. It gives an insight into the term. All right, this is big. Check this out. All right, guys, we're launching the membership forum. It's going to be a place where you can analyze more deeply, learn more, and have fun doing it. There's going to be extra videos as well. Click in the description for the current price. It's reasonable. Look, Royal look or at not, her. Look any at her face. parent might relate watch. to this mother's vulnerability. Watch, watch that. Rebecca Barry. I will tell you 100% and I want your opinion on this. My opinion is that was her trying to look cute, right? Like that, like that slow change. I feel like I see that in TV, in bad movies that like, right? But like when I've seen people being upset, they don't actually look like that. I think that was Megan making a fake I'm upset face trying to look cute. Because again, we see that in TV and movies, but real people, that expression, that's not really what they look like. Most of the time when people are really upset, I feel like they look a little distorted. Their expression, not like, I can't even do it. But anyways, thanks guys. I'll see you soon.